Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morris Federation workshop. And today we have Melanie Barber and musician Mike Adamson in the background, um, who will be teaching you Melanie's, there he is, will be teaching you Melanie's um, Whitby Toes Day hornpipe, which she devised for the Whitby Facebook group a few years ago. So I'm um, Without any more ado, I'm going to hand straight over to Melanie. Morning, everybody. It's my feet talking. <laughs> um, so, welcome to the workshop. It's so nice to see so many people. The message has just flashed up. Um, no, I've had my face spotlighted. That's weird. I'm talking to myself. Uh, so, this is the um, Whitby Hornpipe for beginners and intermediate. As Pauline said, I wrote it for the Whitby Facebook group, the Folk Week Facebook group, uh, back in 2016, I think it was, um, and challenged myself to write the beginners version and intermediate version and publish two steps a month. Um, so through, through the year, we did the hornpipe and the waltz. I think I taught the waltz earlier in the year for the Federation. Um, I did it at an intermediate level, but realised also that, you know, over Zoom you can teach a, a combination really. So this is going to be a challenge for me because it's 10 steps and teaching at both levels. I will, most of the steps match in very neatly together. There's just one step um, where my brain went in two different directions when I wrote the step. Uh, that's going to be slightly more complicated, uh, but they can be danced together. So if you're in groups, um, and I'm thinking here because I know I've got a couple of members of Mabel Gubbins here, and I know you're putting some clog in your repertoire and you're going getting back out out there dancing, uh, and you have a mixture of uh, levels within the team, you can actually dance this at a beginner level and an intermediate level together. And I don't mind if you then embellish it to make it more complicated if you want an advanced one. It was always my plan to write an advanced version for both the hornpipe and the waltz. So maybe I'll get round to it one of these days. Um, but to start with, one of the worst things that we're, we're all guilty of, and, and I say all because most of my dancing friends are guilty of this, of not warming up properly. Um, I'm not a professional warm-up person or anything, but what I would suggest is that we all just do a little bit of a warm-up, just move it, starting to move our shoulders and our head. When you're dancing, it's every part of your body and it's all interconnected. So we end up, you know, if we pull a muscle or anything, I know at the moment I've got an inflamed shoulder blade muscle and I don't know why, I don't know what I've done, uh, but I've had a bad neck. Um, and it's all connected. So just keep rolling those arms. Nice big circles as well. Get all those muscles working. Back to the other way. Just do it. It's really doing your own thing. As I say, I'm not a professional at this sort of thing at all. I just know that it's better for my body when I do move myself. Okay. So it's starting to get down to the legs now. Get those ankles, those ankles are all key, important, nice loose ankles for clogging. And of course your knees, there's a nice figure of eight thing that you can't really see that very well, but I'm doing a figure of eight with my knee, just drawing that figure of eight round. And the other one. Okay, so I'm going to ask you while you're doing this, if you can put your hand up if you've never done a shuffle before. So I know I've got beginners here. Right, okay, so how I'm going to do then is start moving our feet. We're tap in front. Tap, step, tap. And then out to the side, but at a 45 degree out to the side, just to tap. into a slight brush out that one so at the 45 degree you're just brushing out slightly and coming back in back to the straight tap and then pull that back as a brush in so 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to combine the two. Step, brush, out, catch in. Step, brush, out, catch in. And that is basically a shuffle. So this is a round shuffle, and I'm a Lancashire dancer, so I do very round shuffles, as in the 45 degree out and straight back. Northeastern dancers do a slightly shallower shuffle, so they'd probably be about 20 degrees out. Um, and then we get straight shuffles, so if you just move that brush out to being straight in front of you, and you're going to use a straight shuffle in this routine as well. So we will need both styles of shuffles. And as a beginner, it's always really good practice to do both styles of shuffles. Because you do need them in some routines, in some traditional routines as well. So that is useful. So let's put some timing onto that now. It's generally a, a dotted hornpipe that we're doing. So it's a one, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. So with that shuffle, one, a two, three, a four. 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 Okay. The other key thing with um, dancing, and this is a good thing but either way, it's the balance of where your body weight is. So if I stood sideways to try and show you, what I do is I don't go up on my toes, because if I go up on my toes, I'm straightening my knees for one, and I'm also throwing myself off balance. I just move my weight forward. And I'll push up onto my toes. So it's just rock your body weight forward a bit and you'll find that you can stand on your toes more. Keep your knees flexed. Don't ever clog with a straight knee. Um, you'll damage your knees eventually. And I have known clog dancers that have done that um, and can no longer dance because of it. But they, over a number of years, but it's still not a good idea to do. Um, so let's... The lady that hadn't done shuffles before, did those shuffles work out for you? Just a thumbs up will do. Brilliant. Super duper. Okay, so if I say if you have any questions throughout the workshop, just wave at me or something to get my attention. I will check with you every so often. But if I leave you behind and you've got a question, then please wave and I'll I'll jump in front of the screen and find out try and help you. So do, do let me know if you've got any questions. So the first step we're going to do is, I've just given it the simple name of hops. Um, it's going to be, I shall show you the whole step. Uh, feel free to join in because normally at a workshop I'd say, keep your feet still while I'm showing a step. It doesn't really matter in Zoom, you can twiddle around with me. It's got, I kind of reverse it. It's a step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Ba that's a, quite a basic uh, language or hornpipe step and I'll reverse it in the middle as you'll see. Um, oh Pauline. Can I just ask if everyone can see the spotlight or shall I swap them around? Is anybody? I can see right. Pauline so I think Okay that's right. okay cool. Well okay so I will do the beginner version so it's step Step, step. Don't worry, I'll break this down. This comes the reverse. So it's typical. It's a. You get two. There's two main traditional styles of Lancashire hornpipes. One where you repeat the <clears throat> building block brick a bit, 
that's the step shuffle, step, step hop. Uh, you repeat that six times and then you get a two bar finish on the end. And the other style is where you get A's and B's. So you'll do a little bit that's an A and then a B, A, B, B, B. They're both very traditional styles of Lancashire stepping. Uh, there are other variations, but they're the main two. And we've got both of those within this routine. But this is the first one where we're repeating the building block each time, but we're going to reverse it. So your little building block bit is you're going to start stepping left, step, shuffle, step, step, hop. So that's your building block. We'll do that again. Remember, you try and keep yourself off your toes, so dancing off your toes with your heels off the ground unless there's a specific heel beat. I wouldn't worry too much about that, so that's what you're aiming at, but it's quite hard to maintain that for the whole of the workshop, so don't worry about too much about it, but just try and remember that your heels should be off the ground. That's a traditional Lancashire hornpipe step with your heels off the ground. Okay, so we're doing through that again. Left start, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. And again, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Try it off the right. When I say off the right, it's stepping onto the right foot. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. And once more off the right, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. So now we're going to repeat it. We're going to go left and right a few times. Two, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Step, shuffle, which is what we're going to do in the step, but we're going to reverse it after three. So what I mean by that is we'll do three plain ones. So let's do that. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. At this point, we're going to do step, hop, step, shuffle, step. So that's the reverse. So right foot, three, four. Step, hop, step, shuffle, step. Then we get two more that are plain. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop, step. So that's the whole of your step. Let's take that from the top again. So you're going to do three plain straight forward, then we reverse, two plain, and then we'll break down the finish for you. Okay, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. Step, shuffle, step, step, hop. One, add two, add three, reverse. Intermediates, what you're going to do now is exactly that step, but you're going to fill some of the gaps. So for each of your hops, you're going to brush out and catch back in. So you're going to do step, shuffle, step, step, brush, hop, catch, step, shuffle, step, step, brush, hop, catch, step. Reverse. Okay, if you can only manage to brush out, that's fine. Do it with a step, shuffle, step, step, brush, hop, step, shuffle, step, step, brush, hop. And that's 
another way of building it up when you're doing the beginner one without those catches in then you could put a brush out in first and then put the catch back in later so you can build it up as you as you gain more confidence at, at dancing okay so i'm going to do going to do the intermediate version again i'm going to do it slightly slower so that the beginners just ignore the brush out and catch back in unless you want to give that a go as well that's quite uh, quite okay so left foot three four step shuffle step step brush up catch one step two step three step four step one reverse Okay, is that all right with people? Yep, getting thumbs up. Don't forget to wave and jump around if you've got a question. Okay, on to the finish then. So, the difference with the finish is exactly the same as in the step. The intermediates are going to put a brush out and the catch back. The finish is step, shuffle, step, Hop, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Okay, so it's one of your building blocks. Left, shuffle, step, step, hop. And then we're bringing in, this is a hint to the next step in this particular case. It's going to be with right foot, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. So with the timing, it goes three, four, one, a two, a three, four, one, and a two, and a three, four. Okay, beginners stick with that. This is the intermediate version with the catch out, brush out, catch back. Three, four, step, shuffle, step, step, brush up. Once again with the timing, three, four, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, and a two, and a three, four. Is that, is that finish okay with people? It just brings in that extra change in the, the rhythm, so you get a one and a two and a in your shuffles, um, so those last shuffles aren't dotted. They're con continuous. Can we have some slow music? We're going to have some slow music and we're playing Reedsdale Hornpipe for this. Really nice and slow, yeah. This time, left foot. of it. 
Um, the starts right. Step shuffle, step shuffle, step, step, step shuffle, step shuffle, step, step. Okay. So it's just literally one and a two and a three, four. One and a two and a three. Four. So step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, which is what you've just done as the finish of number one. Okay, so let's just try a couple of those. We're going to right foot first, so right and then left. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. One and a two and a three, four. Okay, and again. Three, Four. One and a two and a three. Four. One shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Okay. So, beginners, what you're now going to do is eight step shuffles. Um, now, eventually, you're going to turn these. So you'll you'll basically do more or less two to a quarter as you're turning. just to get that feel of actually turning round um, and trying not to do the traditional clog version of this of when we turn our backs on the musician, uh, we speed up for some reason. It's a, tr a clog tradition. Um, so try not to do that, but we'll do it just facing forward at the moment, okay? So we're gonna put the two starter bits on, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, shuffle, step, Step, then eight straight step shuffles. So turn if you want, but I'm gonna just gonna do it facing forward for you. Okay, right foot. Three, four. Step shuffle, step shuffle, step, step, step shuffle, step shuffle, step, step. Eight, two, three. Okay, the music will tell you more than I will about that turning round bit. And then you're just going to go straight back to the beginning and do two more of the start of it. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. And then I think there are six shuffles for the finish, just straight shuffles again. Three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and eight. So the seven and then you just finish on a step. Now, this might seem like a really simple step to do because it is just straight shuffling, but shuffles are the basics of clog stepping and getting neat round shuffles is a real skill so it's a good step for practicing your shuffles so do it once more for the beginner level and then i'll let the intermediates know what they're going to do <laughs> sorry that sounded a bit of an evil laugh okay right foot three four step shuffle step shuffle step 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 shuffle then eight turning, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and a one, and a two, and a three, four, one, shuffle to finish, and eight, just going to have a sneak, shuffle to do I was right when I said it one, two, three, four. I was right when, right when I said it was six shuffles to finish with so it the, the finish of it one two three four 
four, five, six. And pause on the four. So timing wise, it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. And pause for the four. Okay, sorry about that. I said it right, danced it wrong. Evil would do, but it puts you on the wrong step, wrong foot for the next step if you do the original that I said. Okay, so let's do that beginner one again. Uh, and let's do it with some music so it helps you. So um, your first two bits, you're facing forward. So when you do your step shuffle, step shuffle, step, step, you're facing forward. You're turning for your eight step shuffles. And then you've got your two bits facing forward again and your finishes facing forward. Can we have some slow music, please? Right foot. shuffles round and again there's going to be eight so you need to step into it eight hopping shuffles and then you'll need to hop into the start of your repeating of the first bits okay let's just Try that, your finish is subtly different as well, I'm afraid. So let's try this up to there. Beginners, just do your straight shuffles where we're doing hopping shuffles, okay? So right foot, three, four, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, hop, shuffle, hop, shuffle, hop, shuffle, hop, shuffle. sense and is that okay it actually kills your right leg um, needless to say I wrote this routine uh, having had an arthroscopy on my left knee um, so I <laughs> wasn't hopping so much on my left foot so I wrote it hopping on the right foot and I've wondered about the wisdom of that ever since I'll end up with an arthroscopy on my right knee next <laughs> but we are mad as club dancers um, so, your finish for intermediates is going to be step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step. And I'm just going to check that I've done that right. <sighs> yes, yes. So, finish. You're doing two step, shuffle, hop, shuffles, but you've got two step, shuffles in the middle. So you've got a sandwich, okay? Right foot. Three. Four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step. And again, three, four. Step, shuffle, sorry, off the right foot. Three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step. Okay? So, We'll do it with some music and I'll dance the intermediate version. Beginners, you're exactly the same for your two slots at the beginning, your two slots at the end. And you're, when we're doing hopping, you're just doing straight step shuffles.
So this, this is teaching you where it's like knowing how to click your heel instead of clicking your ankle. Try not to hit your ankle. You're trying to, you're aiming on getting wood on wood. Um, and it hurts if you hit your ankle instead. I've done it many a time, many club dancers have. Um, so it's step, shuffle, step, step, flick, heel. And just dropping that heel down to make a beat. So in a competition style hornpipe in Lancashire, you wouldn't be allowed to, you'd lose points for dropping your heel down. So everything must be off the toe. But this is not a competition style hornpipe routine. So we're allowed to put our heels down. So once again, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, flip, heel. And then we repeat that off the right. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Okay? Intermediates at that point, you're doing um, a you're doing a back slice. So you're going to be doing step and you're subtly changing the, the, temp, the timing here because the beginners are doing one, a two, a three, a four and the intermediates are going to be doing um, one and a two, a three and a four and a. So is your intermediate version. So just that timing, three, four, one and a two, a three and a four and a. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that off the right, two, three, four, one and a two, a three and a four and a. Okay, so alongside the beginners, one, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. Okay, intermediate, three, four. One and a two, a three and a four and a one and a, sorry, that should be stepping right. Try that again, left foot, three, four. One and a two, a three and a four and a one and a two, a three and a four and a. Okay, so... Pick the version you want to do. If you can't get all the beats in intermediate, that's fine. Um, it was a little bit challenging for you there. So, this is fun. <laughs> I didn't realise what a challenge I was setting myself here, teaching both. Um, so, you've done beginners, you've done your clicks. You're then going to do, we're going to bring into this flops. Um, so, one and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Sorry. Okay. Try that again. Flops. If you haven't done flops, the flops are where you're going to brush forward and step straight away. So it's a tiny little brush forward. In the northeast version, they know that as um, well. I suppose the Lake District version as well. They call it a bit of a lazy shuffle. In the, it's not a complete shuffle, but they're more, they're more bouncier at it. In Lancashire, we go down onto the toe, so it might be dis it might be described as a tap tap step in some traditions, or a lazy shuffle, or a flop. The flop is the hard is the when I say a harder, it's not harder to do, it's a, it's a more definite down sound. You know, the lazy shuffle and the tap step are, are more up, up on the toe. So you're going to do step, shuffle, step, step, pull up, pull up, shuffle, step, step, pull up. That's your beginner version. So you're going to put your flop in. So left foot, three, Four, step, shuffle, pull up. Sorry, I'm gonna have to have this bit of paper with me. I'm flipping too much between the two. So step, shuffle, step, step, pull up, pull up, shuffle, step, step, pull up. 
and again. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, a lot, a lot. Shuffle, step, step, a lot. And again. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, a lot, a lot. Shuffle, step, step, a lot. Okay? Tag that onto your beginner bit. So intermediates, you can be doing the same flop. Yours is going to be slightly different, but practice your intermediate start bit to it. Okay, beginner's version. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, a lot, a lot. Shuffle, step, step, a lot. Okay, you're then going to tag on two more of your clicks. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Okay, so let's try that whole bit. Two clicks, flops, two clicks. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, a lot, a lot. Shuffle, step, step, a lot. Back to the clicks. Okay, is that all right for the beginners amongst you? Okay, excellent. Um, intermediates, you know your first bit, you've got a lot more beats in there. One and a two, a three and a four and a one and a two, a three and a four and a. Okay, that's your first bit. Um, then, you have got step, shuffle, step, a lot, a lot, a lot, shuffle, step, a lot, a lot. Okay, so you've just got more flops in. Step, shuffle, step, a lot, a lot, a lot, shuffle, step, a lot, a lot. Okay, once more, that middle bit. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, a lot. Okay, then you go back to your clickety bit. Okay, so you've got two of those. So, beginners, this is a challenge for you because I'm going to do the intermediate version. We're going to run through the whole thing. Um, beginners, just go back to the basic, click your heel, drop your heel. Click your heel, drop your heel and do your flops in the middle. Okay. So I'm doing the intermediate version. Three, four. One and a two, a three and a four and a one and a two. Back to the start. Okay, we'll do it once more and I'll do the beginner version. I'll try and switch my brain. Okay, three, four, one. Okay, so let's get the finish on the end of that now. So the beginner's version. Step, shuffle, step. One, add two, add three, add four, add one. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel, tap. So, step. Shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, click, heel, 
heel, tap, do it, adding an extra shuffle in there and you're putting the tap on the end. Three, four, one, add two, add three, add four, add one, add two, three. And pause on the four. Once more. Three, four. One, add two, add three, add four, add one, add two, three. Okay, intermediates. Yeah. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. So you're replacing your, your, the shuffles with hop shuffles. So step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle, hop shuffle, step, click, step, step, click, hop, tap. So the clicking the same as in your step, as in you're doing the back slice, but you're going to finish with the tap the same as the beginners. So just that finish, three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, click, step, step, click, hop, tap. Okay? So this is the, now the challenge to dance the whole step. I'm gonna do the beginner version, dancing the step. I'm gonna have the safety blanket of my notation, which um, Pauline will send a link out to after um, there's just a couple of amendments that I've spotted when I've been practicing uh, that I need to make sure I get correct for you before I send it out. So, right, could we have some slow music? Okay. So I'm going to do the beginner version. So intermediates, put your extra beats in. Subtly different timing to what I'm going to be doing, but the, the two you can still dance the, the two steps together, the beginner and intermediate. I've done that a couple of times with a friend as a display. And it's, they complement each other, which was the idea, and fortunately worked.
so far. Can we do that one again? Sorry. Can, we, can we do that one again from beginners? I got a bit lost. Yes, certainly, yes. Thank you. I was closer that time. Good. Do you want it a couple more times? Uh, that would be cool, yes, please. Yep. On. Do you need your one as well? Or are you okay? Yes, please. Yes. So this is a challenge, Charlotte, I'm afraid, because um, the timing is so subtly different for the intermediate version for this. But I think when you and Jen dance it together in person, it will sound great. <coughs> That's your challenge. steps done today uh, and there are films they've gone a bit haywire on YouTube they've gone sort of turned themselves so what I'll do is I'll get them corrected because YouTube took their editing out earlier in the year and just haven't got round to re-rotating them um, and I'll do a playlist for each because I've got all the steps on YouTube uh, in pairs so one and two together three and four together etc from when I taught them for Whitby and I'll do a playlist for you that will go out with the notation. So that will give you, and it's got the, the full dance steps, the whole dance danced as well. It is literally as my feet are. Uh, it's not a, a whole body version. It's just my feet. So the next, next step is doubles. Um, there's a myth that beginners can't do double shuffles, um, and it is a myth, because beginners can do double shuffles, just not at the same speed as an intermediate or an advanced person doing double shuffles. <clears throat> but if you do them slow enough, you can do them. So, 
So double shuffles is literally what it says. This is going to start off the right foot. So when you've tapped from your step three, you don't want to put your weight on that or you want to keep your weight even. But it's better if you just make it a tap so that you know then that you're going to step onto your right foot for the next step. <clears throat> as you become more ex experienced as a dancer, a club dancer, and also as you become more competent with the steps, and your feet will automatically have a bit of muscle memory as to what they're doing, you can be more even footed at the end of steps <clears throat> and instinctively know which foot you're going to go on to. But when you're learning, it's, it, it's better not to give yourself a choice. Um, so, you're going to do step, shuffle, shuffle. That is a double shuffle. You're just doing two, double, two shuffles off one foot. So it is what it says it is. And if you, if you were then to do a hopping double shuffle, it has the hop in between it. And there's no reason why you can't do that as a beginner as well, as long as it's at that speed. So, the thing with both of them is both shuffles want to be round. Um, so you need to, when you come back, prepare your foot again to go back out. That, a lot of the time, is what I see going wrong with, especially hopping double shuffles, that dancers don't prepare their foot the second time. So they'll get a nice round shuffle and then a sort of slightly off misshapen shuffle because they've not prepared their foot to do that round shuffle again. So just give yourself that sort of mental space to think, step, shuffle, shuffle. So it's going to be one, and two, and three. Step. Okay. Once more. Right foot. Three, four. Step. Shuffle. Shuffle. Step. Try that off the left foot as well because it's going to come in off the left foot. Three, four. Step. Shuffle. Shuffle. Step. And again off the left. Two. Three. Step, shuffle, shuffle, step. Okay? So you're, this is, when I said earlier there were two very, um, very common styles of breaking up steps where it was either six blocks repeated or an A, B, A, B, B, B. This is the A, B version. So the A in this step is your step, shuffle, shuffle. So one, and two, and three, four. And then your B part is step, shuffle, step, 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 step. Okay, that's your B part. So then you're ready to go again off the left foot for an A. Step, shuffle, shuffle, step. And your left foot again for the B. Step, shuffle, step, step. Let's try those A's and B's together. So you're going to do A, B, A, B, starting off the right foot. Three, four. Step, shuffle, shuffle, step. Step, shuffle, step, 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 step. Left, shuffle, shuffle, step. Left, shuffle, step, 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 step. Okay? So... This is where the makeup of the step comes in. You've done A, B, A, B. Now you're going to go B, B. So right foot B. Three, four. Step, shuffle. Step, 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 step. Left foot, step, shuffle. Step, 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 step. Okay, let's try the whole of that step. So you're going A, B, A, B, B, B. Right foot first. Three, four. Step, shuffle, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, be right, step, shuffle, step, step, and left, step. Okay, then we're going to put a very traditional <laughs> finish on the end. This is just, if you've come across it before, it's a Bob Uncle finish. So it's right foot, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, tap across.
cross, step, tap across. So you, when you tap across, you're tapping across your toe. I'll turn around and show you that way. So you're tapping just across your, your foot. So step, so it's a black foot. Finish, isn't it? Yeah. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, tap, step, tap. Okay. Turn around, leave it back to you again for that shuffle. So just the finish. Right foot, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, tap, step, tap. Okay. So the whole of the beginner step. Um, let's try it to some slow music, please. Then I'll let the intermediates get into what they're doing. Right foot, double shuffle. shuffles step shuffle hop shuffle step shuffle hop shuffle and then your b part step shuffle step shuffle step shuffle hop shuffle so it's a little bit like singles and doubles okay so a part right foot two hopping double shuffles three four step shuffle hop shuffle Yeah? And then your middle bit is two shuffles and a hopping double shuffle. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, hop, shuffle. Repeat your A off the left. Three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, shuffle. And then your B off the left. Three, four. B off the right, three, four. And left. And just because I know you can, you've got a hopping double shuffle. Um, Bob's your uncle. Sorry, a yeah, double shuffle, Bob's your uncle. It's not a hopping one. It's step, shuffle, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, shuffle. So the timing of it is one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one, two, three. Pause. Okay, so let's just try that finish. Um, took me a little while to get the timing of this. It just felt wrong, having done a plain Bob's your uncle for so many years. It was a little bit of a challenge, this one. So three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one. Two, three. Okay, and again. Three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three. Is that okay? That that double bobs your uncle. Excellent. Somewhere in one of my routines, there's a hopping bobs your uncle as well, which is why I got my head confused there. So let's try your version with some music. So you're doing double, double, single, single, double, 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 single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. That, that pattern of hopping shuffles and single shuffles comes into lots of different styles. I know Pat Trace has got one of those in her whole pipe as well. Okay, thank you. And we're off the right foot. Hang on, sorry. Have I done... 
Right. I've taught you it wrong. I've just realised. I'm so sorry, intermediates. I'm really challenging you. And it's showing how long it is since I did any teaching. <laughs> Rather than hopping double shuffles, it's just double shuffles. So sorry. So I got the, I got your B part right, but I got your A part wrong. So your A part. Step shuffle, shuffle step shuffle shuffle. So double shuffles. I'm so sorry. So can we just try that? It, the timing is one, add two, and uh, three, add four, and uh, okay, three, four. One, add two, and uh, three, add four, and uh, one, and uh, three, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh. So your B's right, your A was wrong. Let's try that again. Right foot, three, four. One. And try it left foot. Try and get a tad slower actually as well. Three, four. One, add two, and a three. Add four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. Then your B's are the same and you finish. I did get the finish right. So sorry about that. Is that okay with intermediates? Making them doubles. Fantastic. Otherwise, it wouldn't be challenging you, would it? We all do hopping double shuffles as intermediates, but not necessarily doubles. Plain doubles. So can we have back speed music again, please? Okay, we'll do the intermediate version. Uh, beginners, uh, you could do your version as well, but you'll just have extra beats coming in from me. like that it's just getting the the idea of it into your minds so you have got step shuffle step step heel heel 
So it starts at the left foot, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So you do end up even weighted and you've got flat feet. Uh, so you then have to remember that you're going to step right next. So let's try that and we'll try stepping left first and then right. And it goes in order, it's that Z crunch. So it's going step, step, step right, step left, drop right heel, drop left heel. Okay, and the way that I remember is that kind of like I more or less transfer my weight, even though I'm even footed and I'm remaining even footed. The majority of my weight now, when I put my left heel down, I've transferred internally, I've transferred my weight to my left so that my right foot's free to lift up to step again. That's how my brain works. Yours might not work the same. You'll work out your own way of getting there. But if that helps, then good. So let's try that. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So it's one, at two, at three, at four. One, three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Right, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Okay, and you're just going to repeat that throughout the step. Okay. So we're going to end up doing eight of the six of those. So you're back to that traditional repeat the same little block six times. So let's try six of them. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Step, shuffle. And then you'll finish, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So it's just going back to, rather than doing that one, add two, add three, add four, your finish is one, add two, add three, add four, a one, two, three. So it's just slightly phased out. Let's just go for that step with some music. Intermediates thinking crunches, you're going to be doing proper crunches. My brain had obviously also pumped out at that point. Okay, intermediates. You're going to do the step shuffle, step, 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 step again, but then you're going to put a crunch on the end of it. So yours is, whereas we've spoken about the AB structure of a step and the six uh, repeating blocks of a step as structures, we also get what we call double step steps, if that makes sense. This is two bars, so you only repeat your building, it's a double length building block, so you repeat it three times. Okay, so you're going to start left. Step, shuffle, step, 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 crunch, step, shuffle, step. Okay, so you need to know where your brain's going to get out of that crunch quite quickly. So, the first bit, step, shuffle, step, 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 that's pretty standard. You're then going to do a right Z crunch, step, step, heel, heel, 
And where I said in the, the, the beginners that I mentally put my weight onto that second heel, that's crucial in this step because you're then going to lift your right foot to do a step shuffle step. So the crunch bit, crunch, step shuffle step. That's your crucial bit. So your complete building block, your double length building block, Step, shuffle, step, 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 crunch, step, shuffle, step. So with the timing, three, four. One and two and three and four. One and a two, three and a four. Repeat it right. Three, four. One and two and three and four. Repeat it left, three, four, one and two and three and four, one and a two, three and a four. And then your finish is step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. So the same as the beginners for the finish. So just that finish, but you're off the opposite foot to the beginners. So if you dance it in your teams, don't be put off that you're doing the same finish on opposite feet. Okay? That's because the beginners have just repeated a single building block six times, whereas intermediates you're repeating a double building block, so it puts you off the op on the opposite foot. Okay? So just that finish off the right. Three, four. Step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step. So let's try the whole of the intermediate with music. Uh, beginners, your, you can do yours. Step, shuffle, step, step, heel, heel. Okay, try to start thinking about when you put that second heel down, you, you mentally transfer the weight to the, that side so that the other foot is free to step. We're all smarting left foot. to lunch break. left I think. Um, 
we haven't been linking them all together, but exactly, Jen, I was just about to say, we're going to have an attempt at doing them all, um, just to round off this morning. Um, hops is your first step, um, plain hops. For, if it's okay this time round, I will dance the beginner version, because I think, no offence to you lovely intermediates, but the beginners probably need a little bit more foot uh, in front of them than you do. But we will make sure that this afternoon we do both versions fully through. Um, okay, um, so hops, step, shuffle, step, step, hop, step, shuffle, step, step, hop. We get the reverse in the middle. Intermediates, you're putting your catches and um, put brushes and catches in. And the finish with the step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step. That takes us into shuffles. Diddly, diddly, dick, dick, diddly, diddly, dick, dick. Shuffle all the way round, turning. Or stay facing forward if you prefer. Uh, intermediate, you're putting your hopping double shuffles round. Uh, and then just a shuffly finish. Intermediate, step shuffle, hop shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle, hop shuffle, step. So you've got that sandwich of hopping double shuffles with singles in the middle. Then we've got the click and flop. Um, so that's the click, flop, and the flop middle. Okay. Then we get the double shuffles. Remember intermediate shuffles are not hopping double shuffles, they are double shuffles. So uh, if you decided to do the hopping double shuffle version, then absolutely fine. Um, it might be your preference. And then the heels as we've just done. So, um, right, we'll go for it. I apologise now if I get bits of it wrong.
everybody. Excellent. Is that us done for this morning, Pauline? That's fine, unless anyone's got any questions they want to ask Mel now. Oh, they've all gone quiet. They're all very quiet today. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> it's just because we're used to noisy teams, Pauline. Oh, is it? Is that what it is? <laughs> okay. okay, so we'll have a break now then till starting again at two o'clock.